dad was arrested yeah. right yeah. how 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 do you feel about that first and foremost uh, if i felt so good actually felt so good but at the time, same same time felt also so scared because now i know the real battle has just begun yeah. with everything that has been happening i know what i did wasn't a, not so many people happy about it in your family yes yeah. not so many people happy about it actually i think the only people now the public and mom side actually i had the trauma of even holding a knife sincerely speaking i couldn't hold a knife and see someone as in even watch my cousins around me i'll just drop it and say ah uh-uh, i can't even in the house when you just have company just holding a knife you just drop it that's the kind of trauma you have to live mm-hmm. and now imagine you are a man eh things get tough maybe at home mshtuane na kisu what do you think will happen everything that way your mom went through will come flashing through your mind that's when you realize you're not okay men who come out yeah with whatever they are facing um we face ridicule there is stigma I come out I, I start crying like right now if I start crying there's someone out there who will say sasa huyu analia nini anafikiria nini yake yake anapitia anapitia hiyo Kenya anapitia and there's something that our parents tell us and the generation before that mababu zetu sasa hii kitu kidogo napitia eh wewe sasa nikakwambia kia tumepitia what we've gone through is much way bigger than what you're going through mm. so they expect they, they don't play whatever you you're going th- you're yeah. going through yeah. and to you in your world it's so much Hello, good morning and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Wanjiku. And I always tell you guys when you see me doing Tales of Wanjiku, this chilled, this relaxed, it's because again today's the day that the Lord has made and we have amazing news for you. But kabla hata niwaambie hizi news ni gani, I just want to let you guys know I'm so grateful for the kind of community that we've built together. You guys you've become, you know, such amazing people. You are our private in investigators you are our fans you are our people and you know that's what gives me hope that every time i come here and i ask you guys let's do this you don't hesitate we always do it yes but before i start to end the can i just say thank you to maridadi uh, motors because guys you know i travel a lot and sometimes you need people to hold your hand and be like you know what lin let's come through for you help you so that you are able to continue bringing amazing episodes that have the ability to impact lives they import cars and i'm pretty sure they will import my g wagon pretty soon like any dreams are valid so i just wanted to say a huge shout out to them they've been with us traveling to kisumu migori everywhere when we just call at team maridadi they always come through so i really did that came like straight from the heart i wanted to just say thank you so much yes and now najua is in google show ni tales of wanji coach ni acha kufanya vitu za elene safa allow me to let this incredible human being that you guys got to watch almost two weeks ago introduce himself for the people who are joining us for the very first time good morning good morning how are you i'm fine <laughs> how are you feeling i'm fine mm. i'm very happy today yes yeah today is a good day yeah. last week has been a good week yeah Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. You're feeling fine. So fine. Yes. So 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 fine. You're feeling fine. You look happy. Yeah. You are fine. Yeah. All those things yeah. and above many other things. Karibu sana. Thank you. Wale watu maybe hawajakuona ibu introduce yourself. I am Isaac yeah. Gidenji. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did our show. Actually it's last week. <laughs> it's not last even week. two weeks. It's last week. It's last week. Yeah. Did our show last week. Mm-hmm. Raised by brought my story. Yeah. You know a very sad story mm. ah, but today is not a sad day today is not a nah. sad day you know it's i and i like when i <coughs> you are very strong human being i had to be i had to be mm. you know going through some of these things as in you just you just normalize mm-hmm. just normalize you have to be strong for yourself because these things are not easy you know 
Uh, we have been brought up as the only kid and you go through some of these things and mm-hmm. you went ahead to go through. Yeah. You have to be strong. Mm-hmm. You have to remember you, you, have a, you have a mom to impress, you know. You have a world you have to fight against. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so sad now. Yeah. You know? One of those things is lost. The world is still there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you ever feel like her presence? Like, hey, mom, like, do you feel her presence still? I kind of do, mm. because now, you know, I even put some pictures in the house. Oh, yeah. Lovely so photos. Too. Whenever I'm, I'm in doubt or a decision I'm making, I always yeah. look at the picture and I'm like, I look at that smile and I'm like, okay, yes. mom, I hope I'm doing the right thing. If I'm not, yeah. show me, show me some or some way. Yeah. yeah. You know, the most impressive things was going through the comments. Your mom was legendary. Yeah. Like you saw the comments and people were like, mom mentored me. This woman took care of yeah. us. Like just the comment section is full of people saying how legendary yeah. your mom was like. Did yeah. you ever know that much about your mom? No, I didn't. You know, I was the kind. I just want to be live my life. Yeah. I'm letting her live her life. I just wanted to be that. As in, let's meet one day when I'm this son who made you proud, who's achieved so much. So I didn't so much pay attention. Yeah. But now, after all this happened, you know, you come across someone, she's telling you, your mom did this to me. Your mom saw me through maternity. Your mom saw, your mom saw me through my oh, yeah. you know, procedures. Yes. You no, know, you're listening to all this and you're like, she had a whole family I didn't even know about. Mm-hmm. Now this brought me that is the nini. She always will tell me her friends are more her family. She said that? Yeah, she ever told me that. Yeah. Now I was looking at all her friends, you know. Someone is telling you, your mom lifted me from a very dark place. Your mom lifted me from a, from a place I never thought I would come from. Your mom saw me through my pregnancy from the word go to the last minute. Mm-hmm. Until now, the kid and I'm going to become a god mom. Oh, yeah. You know, some of these stories and you're like, why didn't I see it early? Yes. You know, but at the end of the day, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a legacy. It's a legacy I have to live, I have to live through. Yes. But now, mm. since the legacy, they, this is the first step to the legacy. What we did was the first step. Because yes. uh, as much as it's painful, you know, this is an achievement. What we did was an, was an mm. achievement. Mm. Because you're listening to people's stories, you know, so many people are hurting out there. Yeah. So, so many people. So many people are going through what mama was going through, but they can't talk. Mm. They have no one to tell. Mm. The society is there. They, I, I hate, I hate it that the society is always there to criticize. Yes. You know, I hate it that the society tells you, Vumilia. Unavumilia nini? Nini unavumilia, man? Unavumilia nini? Why should you wait for your own downfall? Mm. You know, we say mental issues. We talk about mental issues. But we don't know that the same same mental issues can take you to your grave faster. Mm. Very fast. Mm. And nikama, it's another cancer, it's another HIV, it's another old diabetes, just that we can see it. Mm. You know, we see the symptoms of diabetes in Amtuako Hospital. Yeah. Melemewa, unaitisha harambe. Mm-hmm. Mental issues hakuna harambe. Mental issues ni kuito wewe, you lost it, yeah. ulipoteza you away, you know. And it's so sad that so many, so, so many moms mm. are going through that. Mm. Even just, so going, just going through the comment section, like, yeah. I was just so people, you know, like, we just have so many broken homes, you yeah. know. Like, we just have so many broken homes and people are just there saying, this is exactly my story. Yeah. This guy is telling my story. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, what kind of society? Yeah. are we living in yeah. that so many people have to vumilia mm. and i like that you're so big on mental health you're so big on una vumilia nini yeah. even for men i mean yeah. we just have toxic women yeah. like no one should ever be told to vumilia you know yeah. but then you look at mom and she had decided enough is enough it's not the number of years yeah. it's finally getting to that decision and getting to that place where you are like enough is enough yeah. i'm stepping out yeah. so we just a clap for her for that like she knew man i deserve better i can be better and i'm going to get better so we just got a clap for her for that though yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much then at the end of the day actually i came even to realize as much as it's the parents who hurt yeah the kids hurt more you know there are so so many men so so many ladies so so many women so many girls so many boys 
you know, going through a lot of pain and because they don't understand, you know, at the moment they are just like, mom, dad, mom, dad, you know, yeah. p- looking for anything to blame. Because actually, the, someone emailed me a very, very painful story. Yeah. You know, how they uh, have a son and a daughter, how the, son, how the daughter hates her, the mom now, hates her so much every time, as in, you know, and the notion that she gets is that my daughter, Naona, and Ajwakila Kitu, she is trying to make enemies, uh, an, enemy, mm. an enemy out of my brother, mm. out of now the son. Mm. So now I'm like, no, don't take it that way. I've been through there. Yeah. You know, she doesn't understand. She feels there's a gap, but yes. you don't understand. Mm. So these these issues that our parents go through, you know, they have to take out that pain on someone. They have to project. That pain will be projected on someone. Mm. And most probably, because now they are being oppressed, they look at the person when they can oppress directly. So sad by the way. That but that it's not their is, fault. Yeah. No, it's not their fault. There yeah. are circumstances. Yes. This is what I was saying. Most of uh, most of the people my in my generation right now, I don't know about your generation. Oh, what, what do you mean? I don't know. Okay, don't where know are you placing me though? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. but I know so many yeah. people mm. are a circumstance of something they didn't choose. Yeah. You don't know how your parents met. That's not your choice. That's not your, you didn't choose that, but you didn't choose to be, you You don't choose to go through some of these things and you have to be a lonely This kid. trauma. This trauma. And the worst thing that you don't even realize about it, you come to have a family later and you realize you're following in the same, same footsteps. Yeah. There's a pattern. There's a pattern. And you are right in the and middle of exactly. it. Exactly. That's yeah. it. When you talk about broken kids, when you talk about this generation smoking weed, drinking alcohol, that's why you remember this song, Joe Boy. Yeah. That's why I sweep my alcohol. That's why As that a, song mm, took a very mm, big trend because oh. that's how people project this trauma. Oh, wow. That's how people project this trauma. For some reason, I think God, I didn't go that path. And maybe this whole thing is supposed to show me a different reality, help people change their lives, you know. As much as I, I lost my mom, it's okay. I accept, I concede to that. I'll never gain her back. But I can change someone's life. That's deep. Yeah. Can That's change deep. someone's life, someone, a kid going through what I'm going through. Going what I'm going through. Yeah. A mom, a dad. Let's put this side in here. When I'm to watch that kind of mentality, Listen to someone. You might this someone could be the one who's changing your life. Yeah. No. I just think a lot of parents are watching right now. Honestly, yeah. I don't think we even planned that this is the no. way our conversation was supposed yeah. to go. Okay. But so many uh, parents are watching and they don't understand the kind of damage they are doing yeah. to their children. They yeah. don't understand the after effect. Yeah. They don't understand how much pain. Yeah. Uh, these people we call kids, yeah. your generation, as yeah. you, I, I'm a millennial. You are a Gen Z. I don't you are, know. I you, just, are, you are. You are. You are. You are twenty. I'm twenty-four. You are twenty-four. Yeah, yeah. twenty-four is a Gen Z. You are a Gen Z. Yeah. I'm a millennial, yeah. and there's just such a huge gap yeah. between, as you rightfully said, yeah. your generation and our generation. Yeah. And we look at you guys, or maybe now this would be like my mom, yeah. the age of my mom's. Because for me, I try to understand, like, mm. hey, this is a. a like I'm more understanding to yeah. your generation, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then um, my mom is in her fifties, yeah. so then. I think after my generation, there's another generation. Yeah. And that generation is looking at you guys like, nini, nini, nini. Yeah. like, who do you think you are? Exactly. Like, where did you guys come from? Exactly. And they're even giving up on you guys. Exactly. You know, you know, being called weaklings because we speak. You know, that the notion of, and it's so sad by the way, I hate this society. The notion of being a man means that you keep silent, vumilia, torture, and all that. But now, uh, just as we moved from the analog generation to the digital generation, Ikuvumilia, they na bring up so many broken kids. Just hold on, Joshua J. Karanja is here. I think you need to bring your chair here in the middle because we are about to actually have a conversation on this. This whole main 
the notion yeah. ya mwanaume yeah. ni ku sorry guys we do these things they are so random we have no plans so as Joshua J Karanja comes i just want us to try and demystify yeah? Yeah. this thing because you've lived it yeah. umeambua vumilia yeah. so ngambele so and we would also use his input yeah. on this and see yeah so yeah yeah, yeah so uh, Joshua J Karanja i'm so sorry for kukutoa penye ulikuwa umekaa but okay. it's because he said Isaac said something important and mm-hmm. i felt like this is just like men's desk these are the conversations that we have been having behind the cameras but before you can even channel in to what he's saying because i really want us to be able to have this conversation around a man should be this strong i'm sure you are familiar with Isaac's uh, story uh, so before you can even channel in maybe remind our audience who you are and the kind of segment that you host here at LNN so they understand why that statement is also a deal breaker for you right i mean i was just chilling but uh, <laughs> thank you for having me yes. uh, on your desk yeah. um ladies and gentlemen children of all ages My name is Joshua J Karanja and I'm happy to be here. Now, um what do I bring on the men's desk? Good question. I personally I I would say it's it's very dynamic because what I thought I would bring keeps changing. The content that we have on the channel made me think wait a minute before we even start bringing in stories about men. Can we first of all find out who is who is a man? culturally speaking who is a man now isaac has said something here yeah. one ome you know uh, we are supposed to put up this strong face uh, we are not supposed to show weakness and all that i'm happy this is a gen z and a millennial affair mm-hmm. now if you check out um and i don't want to let the cat out of the bag but in one of the episodes that i'll be bringing to you very 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 soon our guy this man we went uh, to kisumu and he said uh, he said one thing one make it tairishwa you know them they remove the, the 60th apachini and he said something i asked him unafa mwanaume na akipiga nduru na piga nduru kwa nini mwanamke you see so there is this expectation that at you're not supposed to show any form of weakness and if you show any form of weakness you're, you're not, not considered a man, a man. what do you, yeah. you get yeah, that's true mm-hmm. that's true the same applies the same applies to us you know as much as the, 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 the there might be a difference in culture but the ideology is still the same you know even as a man now where I come from we do it the you know i don't have to get into details yeah. but the same the same you told the same thing you have to be a man to actually this statement let me quote it in kikuyu mwana wa kaheti wa kairitu A boy Thank you. is not a girl. Yes. yes. A boy is not a girl. So the way you're supposed to face an issue, not the same same way mm-hmm. a lady is supposed to face an issue. Mm-hmm. But let's come to reality. Let's face reality now. We have emotions. Everyone has emotions, you know. And until something hits you hard, until you're in the sh- you face a situation that brought someone down, that's when you realize, wow, things are messed up. Mm-hmm. You know, until now, I try to think so many people are quick to judge you know I, you talked you are not supposed to talk this is that you is be a man you know As, that kind of talk but now let's face reality how many people would have stomached no let's even say men now men how many people would have stomached that brutality that mom faced you just it's my dad let's move on it just happened to and Elena Maisha like nothing happened any trauma that you live with, that's a life of trauma of trauma i can bet mm-hmm. i can bet on anything because actually the kuna ile kitu inaitanga the defense mechanism the that the mind activates but at one point it loses and that's when you start facing reality that's when you face ah yeah. this person was butchered so now you, you even have to live a life of fear actually i had the trauma of even holding a knife sincerely speaking I couldn't hold a knife and see someone as in even watch my cousins around me I'll just drop it and say ah uh-uh, I can't even in the house when you just have company just holding a knife you just drop it that's the kind of trauma you have to live mm-hmm. and now imagine you are a man uh, things get tough maybe at home 
mshtuane na kisu what do you think will happen everything that way your mom went through will come flashing through your mind that's when you realize you're not okay so we talk about we talk about men being strong vumilia don't talk that's why men don't do therapy so sad to say that is one of the reasons why men don't do therapy because you believe ah it's okay you move on logic you know mtu atakuja kuambia sasa your mama me pass wechukua shamba anza kulima reality but is your mom the same same place and it all happened hapo ndio ame pass hapo ndio unaambiwa lima unaambiwa kuja lima hii shamba kuni kwako as in just move on as in just move on as if nothing happened mm. no no yeah no. until you're in until you're in the shoes of the person facing that issue yes you'll never understand yeah you'll you see um now you see the things that he's he's gone through so would we say that Isaac is not a man for coming out with um you know his emotions with everything that is going on with him we would have discovered that one um he would have right now we have very many cases of suicide yes and they are coming from men young men because of this uh, you know you have to be a man jorea hiki tu you know just accept move on yeah. and all that yeah. but you know i give it up to isaac he came out and from him coming out and you know saying you know it's like this and like that it has to come out he's gotten help right yeah um therapy is coming through i'm showing sure one or the other we need it we need to talk to someone yeah. right we need to let it out and that is that is the beginning of healing mm. yeah. we are humans we have emotions just the same way as females do have emotions yeah you, you see yeah. and we were discussing the other night and we were saying you know we we, we said that men are actually weak you know <laughs> it's only that we have this shell yeah we have this yeah. we have this wall yeah. that hey, you know hata na cheka na wewe but inside i'm harboring a lot of pain and when i break it will be worse than when a woman breaks because mm. if i break mm. i'd even you know i'd be more prone to taking my own life mm. you get yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Well, what, what, so can i ask you yep. was you sorry oh, sorry uh you come in to the show mm-hmm. was it like your last resort for a call for help like did you feel like you are on the edge like now i just have to go public and see if i can get help yeah. and did you battle even having people see you break down because again coming on the show means we have to take you way back yeah. right yeah. is it something you battled with especially the part where you were scared i might come out as emotional and yeah. people might deem me weak i i noticed mom wasn't okay I we sit for long we talk we talk we talk ask hi mom unaendelea kuwa mweusi na unakonda I always knew anytime akona stress anakuwa mweusi alafu ana slim she tells me I am okay that kind of stuff mm. but you know we talking every day ananiambia the kind of things happening at home then ya ongeleshani then you angaliana as in ilikuwa imefika mahali sasa after history a handkerchief mom can eat anything amepata home not unless akuje nayo ama apike haizi kula anything hata mzee akuje na yeye mkate kuja na nini nope tena kukula job haizi kula anything at home because ujui nini umeekewa mm-hmm. kama mtu anaweza kuwekea handkerchief lale ndio mm-hmm. akuibie mm-hmm. nini nyingine azifanye yeah 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 that is one of the things actually i had to really critically think about before doing it because I was at the point now ja, I'm not there's no justice there's no hope for justice at all as in from the look of things mama was supposed to be another statistic just another, just another number of people who've gone through domestic domestic not even I I don't even think that's do, that's it's not domestic butchering that's not even violence you know so I was now like uh uh-uh. yani to auliwe hivyo tu kama mnyama na people will just move on with life it's so easy for people to move on as in and i believe that because you know i was told someone did actually someone told me you know just understand this once all this is over once all the support you're getting all the support you're getting right now all the phone calls everything will be left alone someone told me that and told me just think about how you want that alone to be oh. 
I didn't understand the intensity of that statement until I came back. I wanted to be away from people for some time. Think about everything. I was in denial, you know. No. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. You can't just tell someone Jana tutaongea kesho. Tomorrow she's not there. You had so much you had planned, so much you, you wanted to do. You had so many plans together, you know. Then over a sudden, boom, the person is not there. Yeah. And the person who would have supported you was the one who did it and is disappeared. And the person who the people now who would take the role of protecting you, they are protecting you, yes, but there's so much hidden. There's so m- there's an untold story to the whole thing, leaving you more questions than answers. Then you come to realize you you are in the middle of bit. I don't I don't even know if it's betrayal. As in it's it's just like a movie. Yeah. You, these things you watch in Hollywood from Hollywood, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Then you realize, wow, I'm alone. And I pushed mom side away because I was told some things I couldn't believe. Now you've come and realize all along it was just it was a manipulation game or that kind of stuff. You are alone again. Mm. You don't even know how to face your friends because the story was so hard I couldn't even stomach telling people about it. So most people right now actually the joy story now from the show. That's how they came to understand. Ah, yeah. You lost your mom. To learn make a picture we didn't understand. So you find yourself you are alone. No your mom the only person who was on your world is not there. Your friends cannot understand what you're going through. Your relatives they're trying to understand you but they can't. So you're just alone then you ask yourself, am I ready to let mom be another statistic? No. What am I doing? I just follow up. Ah, who si jali tutakwambia? Tukisikia kitu. Si jali. Ah, justice will be served. It will be well. Be a strong man. Ah uh-uh. ah. I listen to these statements and I'm like No, 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 no. When the trauma hits me, it will hit me alone. When the de- when depression hits me, it will hit me alone. So I'd rather it hits me knowing that mom is in a better place, resting in peace, and whomever did it got what is right for them mm. legally. Yeah. Isaac, let me ask. Yeah. This person who told you that yeah. at the end of the day after all this support is over and all that mm. that you be alone. Yeah. Was it a male or a female? That was a female. That was a female, but also there was also a male who mentioned the same same thing. Actually, so much credit to them. They work in he works in Tomotomo Hospital. Mm. Mr. Mwenda. Yeah. He told me the same same thing. Because you see, that's yes. that's the truth. Yeah. And that's why I tell people there is so much power in speaking out yeah. because so many people bank on silence, yes, right? Yes. So many people will bank in you. Keeping quiet, quiet. Yeah? yeah. So many people will bank in Acha. Oh, sorry. Uh, so many people will bank in Acha history. Yeah. Ishe, but he mentioned something. Yeah. The defense mechanism he as a man had to put. Yeah. He even mentioned even coming out in public, you had to think yeah. about it yeah. because you're like, how will people people might judge me yeah. because of A, B, C, and D yeah. as a community from one woman to two male here yeah, two yeah, gentlemen yeah. what are we doing wrong in this community why what is it that we are doing wrong to prevent you yeah, men yeah. from just speaking out yeah. what are we doing wrong and how can we make it right um men who come out yeah with whatever they are facing um we face ridicule the stigma yeah. i come out I, i start crying like right now if i start crying there's someone out there who will say sasa huyu analia nini anafikiria nini peke yake anapitia anapitia hiyo kenya anapitia and there's something that our parents tell us and the generation before that mababu zetu sasa hii kitu kidogo napitia eh wewe sasa nikakwambia kia tumepitia what we've gone through is much way bigger than what you're going through mm. So they expect they, they don't play whatever you I'm you're going, going th- you're yeah. going through yeah. and to you in your world it's so much yeah. you get and all we need is just a support group right a place where we can let out our struggles we can let out our thing because sometimes we we feel like we are the only ones going through that especially when you are alone you withdraw from people you don't want to see people around you 
So you feel, and the voices in your head become even louder when you are alone. And you feel like you're the only one going through that. And you don't want to come out because there's this ridicule that will follow. You get. So unless um, now the society accepts that, dude, these guys are human. They go through stuff. Someone has come out. I mean, listen to this person. Sometimes all you need is a listening ear. Sometimes all we need is a cheerleader. You know, you're cheering me on. Support me, right? But when it comes to now ridicule, you're pushing me away, you're making things worse. And you cave. And I cave. Mm-hmm. When you downplay the things that I'm going through, at Nikidogo, this is, what are you going through? This is nothing. You get. So it hurts. So we just seek to be accepted. Mm-hmm. That's just it. Isaac. Yeah, actually, when you think of it, yeah, there's this statistic that men tend to live shorter than women. And when you think of it, uh, when, you, when you just sit as men, yeah, uh, you know, when you sit with an elder men, the kind of talk you get, you, you, they are like, ah, yeah. so what you are feeling, it's not that you got help, it was downsized. You go and face it again, it's downsized again. You face it again, it's downsized. So that's the routine with men. You downsize whatever is there. If whatever pain you're feeling, whatever struggle you're going through, it's just downsized. It's not solved. So one day, all this comes up. You know, it's just, that's the usual, that's the norm of the mind. You push, you push, you push, you push, you push so much, one day it will surface. And when it surfaces, it will bring you down. Bring you down completely. Now that's how you start hearing. Mututu wako anadi na pressure. Naza kupata pressure, diabetic, kama kwa diabetic of Asade, you know. Now they cannot move on with their life. Unapata mtu was very successful. Anaka atu, ako tu. Ako tu, you just surviving, you know. You don't even understand. And you there ridiculing them. Ah, we alianza kulewa, we alianza kufanya nini. It's because of this norm we are used to. Downsizing, downsizing my pain. You should, you should it downsize. You should look for a way to give me a solution. Mm-hmm. If I'm going through struggles in my family, don't tell me kwakoni was. Don't tell me kwakoni was. You know, kuna, and I think that's why sometimes I even relate with vitu zingine zimesema kwa Bible. It's meant to be, a, be a, to be a guide. You are given a pain that you can handle. Your pain will not be your pain will not be the same as mine. You could find my pain so easy, but you, when I couldn't, as in you get that kind of notion. Mm. We don't face the same pains. You're given something you can handle as much as so this handling it means not burying it deep mm. not burying it mm-hmm. not downsizing it mm-hmm. facing it mm-hmm. give me a solution mm-hmm. things are bad at my home give me a solution come and tell me ah okay repeat you're going through that. this and this and repeat this. that handling it handling is it. not burying it yep handling it is not burying it handling it is not going to other people as in, as a man, you come and tell me your pain, for example. I should lean down, size it. You should tell you, ah, bro, okay. There's something we can do about that, you know. I like now, I like the, my friend Henry, you know. We talked, though you met him that day. We talked so much, and I'm like, bro, ah, if that is happening, I'll not tell you at you, Milia, no, do this and this and this and this, and see if it will work. If it won't work, you can always try something else. But no, I come and tell you, ah, Kitundogo bro, chana nayo isi kusumbue. We move on, vitu ni nyi, tafta pesa. You know, the logic by the way of a man ya tea, when you face emotion, it will be downsizing your ability to think from a making money perspective. But it's not always about money. Damn. You know, he's, Isaac has taken me back to my physics class. Mm. You know, eh, when we were dealing with springs and rubber bands. Mm. So, um, something elastic yeah has its limit of elasticity we come to sponges fine we use our sponges in the kitchen to wipe our tables but it can only absorb so much so we are forced to be like sponges so we take in to nambia ah no don't squeeze it out right you're a man don't squeeze it out vumilia you got this but in essence what have you done have you gotten rid of that water that is inside? Nope. No. Hi, tomorrow, something else comes. The mm-hmm. other day, something comes. 
at the end of the day what happens to the sponge yeah. it will start dripping by itself because yeah. you can't take it anymore yeah. you get yeah. so that is what they've reduced men to yes. sponges yeah. but it can only take so much so much yeah. yes yeah. when we downsize we are leaving the water in the sponge yeah. we are not draining it out yeah. and draining it out as he says yeah. is a solution okay. what are the solutions work with me yeah. sometimes the solution is just a listening ear nisikizie yeah. tu just listen to me yeah. you don't have to talk and say ah uh, bro and give me advice no yeah. just to feel i have someone i can talk to you get yeah. there are problems that yes they might have they can have solutions if yeah. they have a solution walk me through it bro mm-hmm. yeah. you get wow. yeah Ah, quite an analogy. Yeah. I love that you sought therapy. Yeah. The first days must have been hard for you. Yeah, because hard. at the back of my mind I'm a man right here in front I need therapy. Yeah. That must have been hard for you. It was so hard. Actually for the longest time, you know, it's just, I had gone through so much. Through so much you go and talk to a few people and you're like, "Ah, it's therapeutic." Kesho, when you think about it and you now imagine talking to a man but then he'll end up there pijana as in that, that that's the kind of talk we can't have as men we can't honestly honestly you can go to a man mom bijana liko therapy at least they release this and this and the first thing what a checker that's the first thing we do at a checker on the sawewe una umama eh una umama that that kind of talk now but at the end of the day you not you not looking it from the perspective of being being in my shoes there's so much trauma you've accumulated over the years but it gets to a place to a boiling point this year baby has been the hardest for me this year has been the hardest you no know, it's like all this all this pain i've been going through no ilianza kutokea surfacing 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 to a point Being, being very sincere after all this happened now when it started hitting me I was like should I just follow mom you know I got to that point should I just follow mom but when I think of it I'm like no she'll be very disappointed so no I won't do it let me do what will make her happy sort therapy seriously now you know all that time I was like ah, okay I'm just doing it to release the pain of losing mom but then of it it's more than that Having gone through everything that having gone through what I've gone through the pain is it it is just about losing mom it's about releasing all that weight you've been holding this weight of having to balance between two people this weight of having to live a life and yeah, you are your own dad you are your own mom you have to face your issues alone you can't talk to people because when you talk to people they tell you as in i kwanza this statement this statement to this day really hurts me you go to get help from someone kwambie utakuwa mwanaume siku moja no utakuwa na familia siku moja some of these things as in hizi vitu unaona utakuja kuzi understand better and for a minute i believed i believed that being 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 a man you have to be toxic but at the end of the day now there's the natural you there's the you you are trying to adapt and there's the natural you these two people tend to conflict at one point they'll conflict and i felt now This is not the kind of life I want to live. As in you just bury everything, you just face up the world, just think about how to make money, make money. Sasa hii pesa now you going through so much mentally, you going through so much pain emotionally. This will be a downfall and this is the money that will give you that downfall because you learn you learn to that kind of stuff, having fun, the toxic fun, you know, go drink out with friends go sleep out there with girls that that's how you release that pain but look at it now you become reckless it's not constructive it's destructive because at one point now this money will, will not be there anymore you used to living that relieving whatever you're going through using the money you using to, you you used to using money to solving your problem solving your pain now the money is no longer there what will you do what will you do and you know what's sad about that Now when you start coping now you form a cycle so when you get your family they also start living your pain yeah because they can see your pain yeah. they can see how you're coping if it is drinking if it is whatever yeah. uh, toxic masculinity yeah. um you start being violent in your own home yeah. um it, you know it, it it just has the negative effect 
as to dealing with it, becoming a brand new you, so that your generation to follow experiences a different you from the heart you. So yeah. you are breaking a pattern here. Yeah. Yes. And that's a choice. Yes. You're breaking. God, guys, oh, sorry. You know, I've noticed we've just been going round and round and we actually just forgot to tell people, Kai, sorry, dad was arrested. Yeah. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, Kai, me, okay, forgive me. Dad was arrested, yeah. right? Yeah. How, how, how do you feel about that first and foremost? Uh, if I felt so good. Actually, felt so good. But at the time, same same time, felt also so scared. Because now I know the real battle has just begun. Yeah. With everything that has been happening, I know, you know, me coming out, it wasn't it wasn't something that pleased so many. Actually, the world, the world sees a different thing, you know. Now we when we talk, we know this kind of talk we're having now of what a man should do, what a man should not do. The, what I did wasn't a, not so many people happy about it in your family yes yeah. not so many people happy about it actually i think the only people now the public and mom side from what i know mm. and at least for those people who who understand the pain yes. of losing something yeah. even within the family mm. those who understand the pain of losing someone mm. the pain of losing something you really value those are the only people who said wow good job good job but these are the people, the same, same people who are just giving you these kind of toxic ideas, you know. They're like, no, that kind of stuff. Yeah. That kind of stuff. That kind of stuff, you know. So at the end of the day, yeah. it's, a, it's a win, but it's, but it's the beginning of a bigger battle. It's another battle. It's another we battle. We are crossing into another battle. A bigger one, actually. A, a bigger one. Because they expect so much resistance. You know, I tend to, I tend to ask myself one question. Uh, I don't know, I might not have a sibling. You know, but I keep asking myself, would you just let someone who brutally butchered another human being, Haimata Kamani Wakukuja, another human being, what matter? We are humans. Lean, if something happened to you with your family, someone butchers you. I'm the brother to the one who butchers you. No content. Am I, am I, am I, should I be protecting him? You know, it's my brother, it's my sister, it's okay. But there's humanity in me, you know? There's humanity in me. If it's too painful for me to handle it, if I just walk away, I just keep away and say, let justice take its course, you know? But not pulling every possible string to protect the one who did it. Mm. No. Because at the end of the day, if he is innocent, yeah. go argue that before a court of exactly. law. Exactly. Right? Exactly. But hiding, like, I was just so shocked it went way too fast. Yeah. Like, we just... Uploaded like that and Boom. few days yeah. arrested. You know, you know. But I just have to, guys. I'm sorry. There are just so many things we can't disclose right now. Yeah. We, he was arraigned in court, and now, as you understand, also here on the network, we try to be so respectful of matters that are now before a uh, court of law. And there are so many details I can't disclose to you guys right now. But as you know, I'll always bring you those follow-ups. Yeah. But for me, I also have to commend our authorities. Yeah. I know, yes. So good. We did the show and then he was arrested, but also we can't take away from them the fact that they take the things that we air yeah. on this platform yes. seriously. Yeah. And I just hope it's the beginning of so many people finding justice. Yeah. Huh? I'm just like when I saw him being, when you, the, the, what you sent me, yeah. I was just like, yeah, bye Felicia. Yeah. I was just like, good riddance, you know? Yeah. I was just like, good riddance, because yeah. at the end of the day, if he is, Innocent, go argue that before a court of law. Exactly. What I don't understand is why would people hide you for mm. such a long time? This is, as you said, it's a win. Yeah. And you know, above all things, as telling Isaac, sometimes you have to understand that the people who vouch for you the most are not family. True. They are strangers yeah. that you have no idea the exist. Idea. You see what mom told me? Yeah. Friends are family. You know, I had lost, by the way, I had lost hope in humanity. I was asking myself, if this is what humanity means, if humanity is protecting a murderer, then where are we heading? No, I didn't see. There's another side of the world yeah. where everyone is, everyone shares my pain. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Good job, guys. Mm. You, you, let that humanity not leave you at any point. Yeah. 
a crime is always a crime. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter who did it. Mm-hmm. If I'm the one who did it, by the way, I wouldn't even ask anyone to protect me. I will be so guilty at I think I will just take myself to a police station. Mm. And I'm trying to imagine now. You know I thought about it. Even my therapist will come and will at one point. If you meet your dad what will you do? Come on be me see ziko kama yeye. As in I'm feeling the pain I just lost my mom. But at no point I humanity in me it's too it's too much. At I just take a knife am I you know at this this point I'll be like what if mob justice or so what if ukapata anafanya mob justice kamwambia hapana kamwambia no let him face justice you know taking a life doesn't so as in you can't pay a knife a knife for a knife no come on a knife for a knife mm. we are humans at the end of the day mm. i can't just sit back and watch yes. someone taking a life as much as it's my dad lin even if it was you ni pate mob justice as much as whatever you did just go to court let the legal system face it see you mm. know we are humans at the end of the day mm. and i tell you as much as people vouch for just do we wacha wacha life yake chukuliwe wacha ulio wacha nini wewe mwenye kufanya hiyo that's a trauma that that's something that will haunt you for the rest of your life mm. you didn't give that life that life see will pay on your life so what gives you the authority to take it yeah. you know as much as whatever crime you mefanywa mm. you killed someone you stole someone you raped a child it's okay but now you didn't take that you didn't give this person that life so why should you take it mm-hmm. you know that's yeah. my ideology yeah I, i respect i respect that yeah. and i just want to assure you no matter how many battles you know you, you your story was watched by almost at 300,000 plus yeah, people yeah. and sometimes i tell people this and they think it's such a big joke yeah. you have strangers praying for you and you have no idea yeah. you have people including you in your in their prayers yeah. and you have no idea yeah. you are a topic of conversation among people who are coming together in groups and praying for yeah. your health for your mental health yeah. for you are you know for your safety yeah. and you have no idea yeah. and that's why even as as you feel like this is a win and also it's scary at the same time yeah. we are not going to let you walk uh-huh. through this journey alone because so i say no one sits on my chair yeah. and this i say because it's spoken in me yeah. it's been put in me yeah. by the person who gave me this platform yeah. by the lord himself yeah. because i know what we do here what do we say about what we do here <laughs> I keep saying this. Yes. What we do here it's a calling. Just as Moses was called. Na kaambiwa now hata ni venye tumevaa viatu lakini tungetoa we in holy grounds. In short what I'm trying to say is that what we do is ministry. Ministry is done in very many different ways. We have found a calling and this is how we do ministry. We are doing the work of God. Yeah right and as we are just but vessels and you can see how the work of god has impact if it is called i mean wezi bishana na kazi ya mungu vitu za mungu vitu za mungu ni za mungu so what we do here is ministry yeah Tenda wema nenda nenda zako nenda zako yes. nenda zako yes. and uh, just to as you can see this already a uh, pay bill it was i uh, this that pay bill number right there for mom's legal funds yeah, right yeah, yeah. because as this journey goes deeper yeah. you also need lawyers yeah. from your mom's uh, side of the family yeah. you also need as much financial support yeah. as possible yeah. and that's also another thing i tell people never to shy away from asking yeah. because the people who are watching they it will come f- through for you yeah. emotionally spiritually yeah. financially yeah. all through 360 yeah. Yeah. so people can channel their support through that baby Yeah. So it's a from a it's an Mchanga yeah. account. Yes. Pay bill 891300. Yes. Account number legal. Yeah. Yes. And that's for mom. That's for mom. And just that's to clarify it under you. It's under me. It's strictly under you. Strictly so under you are me. accountable yes. for everything yeah. because I always tell people it's important for them to channel support yeah. through the person sitting on the show yeah. so that we can also hold you yeah. accountable. Yes. Yeah. You are not your father. And this is something I find with men it's like we raise boys to be their father yeah. that's not okay yeah. like you being able to say you are breaking away from this pattern yeah. is also beautiful yeah. it's a step towards the right direction yeah. but then 
we have me and Joshua we always have back and forth yeah. there are people who will tell you unaona babako venye amekuwa hivi ikuwa hivyo and that's something i don't advocate for yeah. that's something i don't like i just i'm a huge believer yeah. in someone choosing their path yeah. and saying this is how i want my life mm-hmm. to be like yeah. and building that path for yeah. for themselves uh, um this uh, this something that you you said and it's triggered me yeah. to also give a message to parents yes. when you give birth you're giving birth to a life not a legacy a kid oh, wow. your child is not a going concern right that is a life let his or her own life take its own course you're not the giver of life you're a vessel right to do god's work god is the one who is the giver of that life he is the one who has a purpose for that life so you can't say that you're living a le- at it's my legacy you have to be like your father i have to take you you know you have to do this course you have to i mean no that is a life not a legacy wow yeah oh god that's yeah, okay that's that's so that's, 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 that's strong. So strong that's so strong yeah now i i'll use another call i'll use another another perspective All right. to share this here pain pain you know so many people out here actually and this is the thing people don't realize pain sometimes makes you become who caused this pain for you for example eh uh, with the broken families broken marriages and all that you tend to so much as a kid struggle not to become like the one who is causing you maybe the most pain but now the, you 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 get into a fight that brings so much denial in you by the time you realize when you get older when you get more aware yeah, exactly. you realize you are the exactly the same same thing you are fighting the copyright of the same thing This happened to me sometime back in 2019. I was so much fighting, you know, seeing your mom struggle. Kuna vitu as a man, as a man baby, the worst thing you can do is see your mom struggle. So you struggle so much not to become your father. Your father. But now in this struggle, it brings a lot of denial in you. And the worst thing actually doesn't have to have it doesn't even have to be your father. It could be your mom. Lady sana sana. You seeing your mom she does something you know you are in denial unasema i can't be like my mom i can't be like my dad but at the same same time this denial makes you become a copyright copy as in a photocopy not copyright a photocopy of who your mom is of who your dad is all that so the best thing i can say people are going through so much don't hold so much by they don't hold any bitterness don't hold anything i think this is the thing that has given me the energy to come all this way because i told you i told you i knew so much that dad had done but at no point would i be like i hate him actually I respected him so much actually would even tell mom ah this is to mean that too there's nothing i can do so you just face you just embrace you say okay this is what is happening okay respect him ukiambia na mtu i saw something you did and to an extent in end your direction don't fight listen listen you know you don't choose as in you might not choose as in when you two you said you make a choice but sometimes you make a you make a choice that leads you the same same path mm. and you find yourself becoming very miserable you have no sense of direction actually for me i can see, see i think i told you in the last video i was so used to fighting battles that are not mine to the sense I, I don't even know my purpose that I'm have, I'm going through the journey of self realization right now self awareness because for the longest time I lived a denial I don't want to be I can't be I actually remember telling someone someday if you ever want me and you to have a very big fight tell me I'm like my dad I ever told someone like that what I didn't realize was that I was the same same thing that was struggling so much to fight mm. So guys you didn't choose you didn't choose you didn't choose your pain you didn't choose your struggle but don't fight it yeah. don't fight it embrace it embrace it face it in any possible way spiritual way psychological way you know they, if it's physical they just embrace it say yeah. I didn't choose to be here yeah. this is my parent I can fight it yeah give me the strength pray give me the strength Lord, to just become a better person 
And at any point, don't deny, don't fight it. You know, so, someone will just come and say, out of nowhere, kwambia, hey, when you naenda, utakaa babako, utakaa mamako. Iyo kitu isi kusumbue, just go sit back and look at everything. Work on whatever you are told. Work mm. on whatever weakness you can see. Yeah. That's the best way to live life. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Pole watu wa mjengo wameanza. Umesikia? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so I love I I honestly love that that you said be your own version. Yeah. Curate the kind of life that you want to live around yeah. and work every single day yeah. towards becoming the better version of mm-hmm. yourself. Yes. Joshua J Karanja, yes. I want to wind up. Okay. What would be your parting shot? Um mm. My parting shot is a prayer. Mm-hmm. Dear Lord, give me serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Uh, uh, Joshua J, the poet, thank you so much for that. I love that prayer, by the way. Thank you so much, Isaac. Yeah. From me to you, yeah. I'm just wishing you the very best. We've just, We've just started. There'll be so many mentions, yeah. hearings. Yeah. There are so many moments you will be, you will just see him, yeah. you know, in yeah. courts. Yeah. There is a point where you are paths might cross. Yeah. All we can do is send you grace. Thank that you. by the time we get to that point, yeah. you will have enough grace. Yeah. The kind of grace that you exude right now yeah. to be able to handle everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm just praying that this mends you as compared to breaking, mm. breaking you. Yeah. But at any point, should you feel like you want to cry over mom, think about mom, yeah. laugh, about, just do it. Yeah. Express yourself. Yeah. Cry if you have to. Mm. Laugh if you have to. Shout if you have to. Yeah. Do not cave. Because you are speaking on behalf of so many people yeah. who have been taught silence is the way to yeah. go. Yeah. You get it, yeah? yeah? Yeah, you are speaking on behalf of so many people who might not ever find a chance or an opportunity yeah. to sit here and share their stories. Yeah, sure. I mean, our email is full of similar cases. Yeah. The comment section, I even came in ready to read for you guys some of the comments, but now I can't because I think we exhausted everything I was about to do today. There are so many people who are saying, this is it for me. Yeah. This is my family. Yeah. My mom was taken away from me. My dad was taken away from me. Yeah. It's like now they are looking up to you for this strength, yeah. this ability yeah. to be able to conquer it. Yeah. And as I told you, sometimes the greatest support comes from people you have never yes. met. So you, my friend, sure. as you go forward with this journey, yeah. and I'll keep updating you guys every other time, when something comes, maybe not through video, but on our community uh, section, I'll keep updating you. But as you start this journey, mm. you, my friend, yeah. I'm wishing you all the best. Thank so you. much grace, so much love, and so much light. Thank you. And should you feel broken, yeah. so you know where I'm at. Yes. You know where to find me. Know to find you know you. where to find me. Know to yeah, find yes. Talk to our people all the people who came through, yeah. all the guys who, you know, just showed up with so much love. Yeah. Yeah. What would you like to tell them? Guys, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. words ain't enough, you know. That, the pain, you, for some reason, you just felt my pain, you know. Someone will just call you and say, I never, to- I never call any number that is given, but for some reason, something pushed me to call you. Thank you so much, guys. So much emotional support, so much mental support for those who are able, financial support. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. I could, I know. Thank you, thank yeah. you. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. Guys, God, may, may God bless you so much. Yeah. This is a journey we are about to begin. This is the, the battle. This is a battle now. Yes. We are about to begin. Yeah. Whatever you guys can do, advice. Financial support, mental support, physical support. Come through. Come through, guys. Mm-hmm. I'll pick your phone call. Yeah. I'll see your text. If you do something, I'll send you back. The pay bill <laughs> is there, guys. I gave you 891-300. Account name, legal. Any support will be appreciated. Yes. 50 bob. Guys, 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And one more time, justice for who? Justice for mom. Justice, justice for, for Lydia. Lydia. Yeah. Yeah, good, yeah, justice Always for Always a legend. Always a legend. You might not know her, guys. For those who knew her, it's a pleasure. Share your stories with me. I'm so amazing. I want, a, I want to just form a very beautiful mental image of the memories of the side of mom I didn't know. And for you guys who didn't know her, just know she was the kind of person in here. She'll fight your battle for you. Ah, she was she was great. She was yeah. great. And so are you. She was great. Yeah. I'll be great. Yeah. I'm yet to be. Proclaim it. I'm yet to be my Proclaim full it. version. Mm. I'll be. Yeah. Anyone who call anyone at any point, you know, at this point maybe I might not help so much. I'll help you physically, mentally, emotionally. Because so many people are coming sharing with me their stories and I'm like, I'm even forgetting my pain. I just start absorbing your own giving you the best way, giving you insights on what you can do, I'll do my best. Yeah. And when I can do more one day, I'll do some, I'll do much more. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you guys. I really appreciate. Yeah. yeah. We appreciate you. Really and I can't it. help but see mom in you in so mm-hmm. many ways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know, wow. your wow. ability to put wow. your pain aside and want to handle someone else's pain. Wow. If you go mm-hmm. through the comment section, that's exactly how they did so so at wa mjengo anamaliza so ameacha that's exactly how mom was defined i'm just glad that she touched so many lives i'm just glad that she got to share her life yeah. with so many of us yeah. and even if i never met her in person yeah. sitting with her son yeah. makes me think I knew her yeah. because this courage, yeah. this ability to come and put up a fight, yeah. she might not have put up a fight that was visible, yeah. but she fought every single day. Yeah. Every single day for she fought plus years. for 20 plus years. Yeah. She fought yeah. and you're just conti- continuing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so guys, I have to wind up unless anyone has something to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I have to wind up, guys, and I just say the greatest fulfillment of my work is when we just sit and we see the results. And for me, I always, you know, when I went, after I covered your mom's story, there's a song by Joyner Lucas I love, and there's just a song he's like, give us two pack and take this person, and I could not help, because sometimes I'm also frustrated, mm-hmm. you know, because there are those people who you are like, I wish they never left. Mm-hmm. You know, you just wish someone else actually left. Like someone left and this person stayed, but our plans are not God's plans. Our wills are not God's will. And sometimes we never know why things happen. And we are not the ones, the givers of life, as you said it. But I just, too soon. For me, what came through for mom was just too soon. But you've said something important. You are trying to create a very beautiful mental image about mom. So if the comment sections and the what people said is not enough, your mom was legendary. A mother, a sister, a friend, and one of the best citizens that we had in this country. So we are still going to give her her flowers. And wherever she is, I'm pretty sure she's so damn proud of you of the courage that you've taken. Yeah. You get it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. so to everyone, I, I had come prepared, guys, to read some of your comments because I understand so many of you related to Isaac's uh, story on the comment section, and I was ready to go through your comment section and let you know, guys, that we read them and we share in your pain, but I'm pretty sure that he has pretty, we, we just exhausted everything that we were about to do for the day. Everyone who came through, my God, I can't tell you how good it always feels when we come together and we decide we are standing for one of us. So everyone that came through to be able to give Isaac the support that we were all looking for, you are really appreciated. Thank you for the community that we are building together. Thank you for this amazing work that we are doing together. We would not do it without you. And as you've heard, the journey just started. So on your screen, you can be able to see the contact details and the pay bill number 
towards lead the uh, towards uh, mom's uh, uh, legal fund because as those ones fight also we also need to put up a fight we need answers we need justice and we need closure and that's the only way we can be able to come through together however support guys you feel like giving no matter how small this is now our job this is our duty and this is something that we have to be able to come through together and do so all the contact details are right here if you want to share your story on the main desk and thank you for everything that you do here on the platform yeah guys if you want to share your story with joshua j uh his email is also right here on the screen that's on men's desk and if you want to share your story with me of course my email is also right there on the screen and our general email is also right there on the screen info at lnn.digital so if you've been wanting to share your story guys that's the email to use thank you so much to the amazing team that does this um I can't tell you what we went through with my legendary camera person and director Edwin Ochieng the last time that we were filming that episode. There are so many things that you guys don't get to see uh, behind the scene. So to my uh, legendary camera person and director Edwin Ochieng, thank you so much bro for everything that you do on this platform. The amazing work that, because as you guys see me in front of the camera, he's right there behind hearing and sharing the stories and just also walking through a lot, just just participating in trying to make our community a better place. And of course, our amazing editor and graphics uh, designer, David Muridi, for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches our audience right on time. My name is Lynn Gugi. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for being active participants of our show. And of course, once again, the shout out to Maridadi Motors for always driving us around, making sure that we are able to travel across the country and bring you conversations that have the ability to impact lives. Till next time, God bless you. Take good care of yourself and remember to be legendary. This episode is dedicated to mom. A couple of pictures running through your screen right now because as I said, we are giving her her flowers and the time is right and the moment is right. Bye-bye.